Major, major arrest that broke this morning. The case of Christopher Rogers is one of Bardstown's five unsolved murders, and now the significant arrest of former boyfriend Brooks Houck. As you can imagine, this is something the Ballard family and Bardstown have been praying for. Our team has been in Bardstown all day long. Isaiah Kim Martinez is hearing from residents who have followed this so closely. But first, Shay McAllister is live outside the Nelson County Courthouse. Shay, can you explain the charges here that we learned about today? Absolutely, Doug. I mean, today's arrest certainly just absolutely huge news in this community. Brooks Houck was arrested by Kentucky State Police troopers and special agents with the FBI early this morning. We've learned that arrest happened on a job site where he was doing construction. He was initially booked into the Nelson County Jail and he did take two mug shots, one in a t-shirt, the second in an orange jumpsuit. He was then transferred down to the Hardin County Detention Center and that is where he is right now. Take a look at his latest mug shot. You can see it right here. He was booked in in an orange jumpsuit, something many folks here in Bardstown told us they hoped to see, but in some ways didn't know if they ever would. Hauk is facing two different charges. He is facing murder and he is facing tampering with physical evidence. Both of these charges in connection to the death of Crystal Rogers. We want to get you the information you need to know right now. So here are three things about this arrest. First of all, he is facing those two charges, one count of each. Again, it is murder and tampering with physical evidence. A Nelson County judge placed Houck under a $10 million cash bond. That is a huge cash bond, especially in this community. And as you know, Houck has been the main suspect in this case since 2015. He was the last person to see Crystal Rogers alive. Well, those charges were filed here at the Nelson County Courthouse early this morning, and within minutes of that arrest, Sherry Ballard, Crystal's mom, was here with Crystal's daughter inside the courthouse waiting to talk to the clerk. As it turns out, they weren't here because of the Brooks Houck arrest. They were here for something else. They were here to fight for custody of the son that Brooks shared with Crystal. That was Eli. And tonight we have an update on that custody battle and more details on the indictment. Finally, his face is not smug. He knows he's been caught. It's an arrest that has everyone's attention. Brooks Houck, Crystal Rogers' boyfriend, and the main suspect in her disappearance, charged with her murder and tampering with physical evidence. According to the indictment, the charges stem from an incident July 4th weekend of 2015, just days before Crystal's car was found abandoned on the side of the Bluegrass Parkway with her keys phone and purse inside. He was named the main suspect within three months, but never charged until today. It's just a miracle that this has happened. And finally, he's where he needs to be and where he's supposed to be. And he needs to stay there. Federal investigators accuse Hauk of intentionally causing the death of Crystal Rogers and destroying, concealing, mutilating or removing physical evidence in connection to the crime. He was arrested without incident early Wednesday morning while on a job site outside of Bardstown. We've been able to confirm this was the moment Brooks was put into handcuffs. He has since been booked into multiple jails, taking three different mug shots, two in orange jumpsuits. My first reaction was just Sherry and her family getting the justice that they have fought so much for and never let up her faith has just been inspiring to everyone. And to get those answers, it just, it gave me chills, you know, for her. While news of the arrest spread fast, Sherry Ballard, Crystal's mom, has been I focused on something like else, something she's been fighting for since the day her daughter disappeared. She wants custody of Eli, Crystal's son with Brooks. He was just a toddler when his mom went missing. We talked to Sherry about the custody battle two years ago, after Sherry lost all visitation rights and had no communication with the little boy. One day, that baby is going to be old enough to come and see me, and he's going to know everything I have done to fight for him. Today, that fight continued with a petition for emergency custody, according to someone close to the case. We're told it was denied for now, but a hearing later this week could change that. As for Eli's dad, he is currently in the Hardin County Detention Center on a $10 million bond. 
So we first saw big movement in this case about three weeks ago with the arrest of Joseph Lawson. He was the first person arrested in the Crystal Rogers investigation, which has been going on for more than eight years. Let's take a closer look at that arrest now. Lawson was indicted on September 7th by a Nelson County grand jury. He was charged with criminal conspiracy to commit murder and tampering with physical evidence. He pleaded not guilty to both of those charges. His bond has been set at $500,000 and we are expecting to see him back in court on October 26. Lawson was the first arrest in connection to the Crystal Rogers case, but of course today's developments, Brooks Houck's arrest is by far the biggest development. This case has been going on for eight years and there have been tons of searches. There have been tons of police investigations, different interviews along the way. Let's take a look back at the complete timeline of this investigation. July 3rd of 2015, when Crystal Rogers was last seen alive. At the time the Nelson County Sheriff's Office was handling the case, Brooks Houck, Rogers' former boyfriend, told police they'd fed the cows at his family's farm, then went home together. He says the next morning she was gone. She has vanished. Four months later, on October 16, 2015, Ed Mattingly, who was the sheriff at the time, announced Crystal was presumed dead and declared Hauk the main suspect. No comment. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Fast forward 18 months. On November 19, 2016, Crystal's father, Tommy Ballard, was shot and killed while hunting. No arrests have been made in that case, which is still being investigated by Kentucky State Police. There would be no new developments until nearly four years after that shooting on August of 2020, when the FBI took over Crystal's case. It searched several properties from the home of Brooks' brother, former Bardstown Police Officer Nick Houck, to the Houck family farm where Crystal was last seen. In August 2021, federal agents uncovered items of interest under a driveway in the Woodlawn Springs subdivision, home to a number of homes owned by Brooks Houck. More than a year later, in October of 2022, FBI agents were back at the 245-acre Houck family farm, spending five days on site. Evidence collected was sent to the FBI's lab in Quantico to be analyzed. And that brings us to June 21st of this year, when a grand jury indicted 32-year-old Joseph Lawson on two charges, conspiracy to commit murder and tampering with physical evidence. The charges are tied to an incident during 4th of July weekend of 2015, the same weekend Crystal was reported missing. Around three weeks later, Lawson was arrested, his attorney confirming the charges are in connection to Crystal's case. And now the arrest of Brooks Houck. The FBI Louisville says agents made that arrest along with Kentucky State Police. He's been a primary suspect in this case since Rogers' disappearance from Bardstown. The FBI says Houck was arrested without incident, and according to the indictment, he's charged with murder and tampering with physical evidence. More details are expected to be revealed during his first appearance in court early next month in Nelson County. And as you well know, America's most beautiful small town, Bardstown, Kentucky, is incredibly tight knit. So many in this community who didn't know Sherry, they didn't know Crystal or Tommy, have been praying for and fighting for answers right along with them. So today we're checking in with the community. Isaiah Kim Martinez and senior photojournalist Alyssa Newton are working that side of the story today. They are live in downtown Bardstown. Isaiah, what are you hearing from the community? Well, Shay, they've been very honest to me. They acknowledge there is still a long way to go in this legal process ahead of that first arraignment next month. But for now, to see this primary suspect in this case behind bars means everything to them. I got a text for some people in town. The news resonating with the Bardstown community, the arrest of Brooks Houck. Just thrilled. Thank goodness, finally some justice. Get him locked up. Each of Houck's three mugshots Wednesday seen and shared quickly across social media. Everybody was just left in this gray area and that gray area has color now that Brooks Houck is behind bars. Houck, charged with complicity to murder and tampering with physical evidence, now sits in Hardin County detention after being transferred from Nelson County. Marks, who's lived in Bardstown for the majority of her life, has watched the case closely for years. Her boss broke the news to her Wednesday. Relief. It, it almost feels like a metaphorical weight has just been 
lifted. For the locals in this quaint town, the last eight years have been agonizing. The heartache, the search, the wait for answers, the signs. The hope that each new search would bring an answer, better yet, an arrest. Now, the community has seen two in a span of three weeks. And for Marks, knowing Halk isn't driving around town. Every, uh, everybody in this town knows what his truck looks like. And walking amongst this community is a relief. To be that close to evil was just a very sinister feeling. And as Houck's case works its way through the justice system. Hopefully this will lead to more arrests than that or maybe being able to find out what happened in those other murders. The prayer now is that further answers reveal themselves as a result. We also talked to a former mayor here in Bardstown and current historian in Nelson County. She gives her perspective on the timeline between Houck's arrest and Joseph Lawson's weeks ago, what she had to say coming up right here at six o'clock. Shay. All right, Isaiah, thank you so much for that update. Well, Crystal Rogers case is one of the most high profile in our state. It is certainly one that top officials know about and talk about. Today, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir weighed in on the big arrest and said he is very thankful for all of the hard work from investigators. Well, it's good to see progress in the case, and I hope it continues to give the, the family the belief uh, that we will get this case uh, solved and that they will get justice uh, for, for their daughter. Uh, the Kentucky State Police, working with others, have worked hard. They have never given up. Uh, they have worked this case over and over, trying to find uh, new leads and new evidence. And so today, I'm grateful for all of, of those law enforcement agencies uh, for their work. A big update there from the governor. Just grateful all of, for all of the hard work. So the next time we see Brooks Houck, we'll be here, the Nelson County Courthouse, when he's expected to be arraigned next week on October 5th. Of course, you know we will be there. For now, we're going to send it back to Doug in the studio. Doug, a huge day in Bardstown. Well, it is a Shay, and of course that arraignment, as you said, coming up fast, that'll be next Thursday. Uh, let's talk about the bond. I talked to several former federal prosecutors today who told me that $10 million figure, that really does send a message that the judge is confident in the evidence presented. Now, you've followed the searches over the years. Where was their uh, single focus point in the end? I think when you look back at all of the searches, and there has been so many of them, the ones that took the most time, the ones that it led to actual evidence, always came from a Houck property, whether that was Houck, Nick, Brooks Houck's home, Nick Houck's home, the grandmother's home. It was always one of those homes, and then the big search on the family farm. Those are the ones that we know the FBI was a part of, and that we know they found physical evidence that they were able to send back to the lab. So let's talk about the arrest of Joseph Lawson. That was 20 days ago. Really set things into motion right now. Uh, it's, it appears things really started moving after that. Uh, you learned more about his possible connection to Brooks Houck. Uh, what was that? Absolutely. So when we looked back in some of our archives, we were able to find a police interview from just days after Crystal went missing, where we found out that Brooks Houck had a late night phone call with a Steve Lawson. During that phone call, police were suspicious of why they were on the phone in the middle of the night on the night Crystal disappeared. They definitely were not seeming to trust all of Brooks answers. That's where we got the name Steve Lawson. We then confirmed that Steve Lawson has a son named Joseph Lawson. All of them work in the construction business, which of course is Brooks line of work.